Hello everybody and thank you very much for watching, this is me Mr. P and in this video I will demonstrate for you how to get Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction game running on your Samsung DeX setup. Let's begin. The game D2 LOD works on Samsung DeX almost 100% and what I mean is the right mouse button click doesn't work on Samsung DeX and that is a bit of the pain playing this as such a game where one of the skills actually is right mouse button, you need to press right click just to get the skill active. But first, let me show you how everything's set up, then I'll show you how it's performing on a Samsung DeX, and then I will demonstrate for you how this game performing on my Galaxy tablet, which is where this game is shining. First thing, go in the description below, find all the file links to download and download all the files. If the link is not working, check the pinned comment. I will try to keep up, keep. I will try the links to be updated uh, with the working one. So if link doesn't work, let me know in the comment section below or check my pinned comment. So once you get everything downloaded, uh, preferably leave the download, download the files inside the download folder. So you will find the Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction zip file, which is 1.8 giga, uh, gigabytes in size, and then Exagay Neon uh, emulator. There's a website that you can find if you Google it, how to run Diablo 2 on Android. This website is back from 2017. It's detail is puts quite in depth detail how to get everything working. But I, I tried this this tutorial, this guide, and but it's, it's messy and I just can't get it working. You need to download Diablo setup file. You need to download the expansion setup file. Set everything up. Then get a Battle.net patch or something installed. I just couldn't get this working. So I found much easier way. And this is this video, basically this video is me demonstrating the easier way how to get everything working. So first thing, Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction. Just double click on this and click extract. Just get this extracting. As you can see, it says, do you want to replace all the files because I'm already uh, extracted this. So I'm just going to skip all this, go back into the download section. And this is the folder that I just extracted. I will click inside, click inside, and this is a file folder called game files. You click and hold, press move, click downloads and move it here. And this is the all this Diablo 2 game inside this folder. I like to just click on this, click and hold, click more, then rename and call it D2 LOD. That's done. Next thing, install Exagear. Click inside the folder Exagear Neo and run APK file. While it's doing, just want to make sure that you understand that this is a side loading APK, you side loading APK file. If you this will damage your system in any way, I'm not responsible. You're doing this on your own head. So once it's in, once it's got this message run, click install, and it's going to take a second or so to install it. Very 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 fast. Once installation is finished, do not run the app. Click done instead. Then double click on the zip file. And click extract. Once you extracted that, as you can see from click extract, it's gonna say do you want to overwrite? I already did the extraction before. And this is a folder. You can go inside inside Android OBD until you see this. Click and hold, click copy, go into internal storage of your Android device, click on Android folder, click on OBB folder, and click copy here. What we just did, we just installed the specific we moved the OBB files that app requires to run. If the folder is missing inside your internal storage, the app will try to download from the service that doesn't exist anymore. So I'm going to minimize this. Here you go. I have the app on, on the screen. I'm going to double click and give permissions to read and write my file system. And this is, as you can see, it says I'm packing. Please wait because we already moved the OBB file. If the OBB file is missing, the app will try to download and give you errors because it just can't find it. So let's wait for this to finish downloading and extracting. Here we go. App is running. If I click on a hamburger menu and click inside the container explorer, I will click on the plus sign. We created a container. Container in this app is, is like a, a separate VM, separate sandboxes. And it's very useful for to have a separate sandbox or container for each game because one game might run only on 800 by 600 pixels, but other game might run on 480 by whatever. So it's, instead of switching resolutions back and forward, just create a container per each for a file, per each game. I'm going to say, click on the three dots, click on the properties, click on the name. Let's name it D2 LOD. Click OK. Screen resolution, 800 by 600. That's the Diablo that this reports. Uh, color depth, I'm going to say 32. This is default. This is default. And then ticks off, on, off. Go back. Click on the three dot sign or three dots I have button. Install packages and select all of them and click OK. Let's wait for this to run. Once everything's successfully installed, app will restart. That's it. We are ready to go and run the game. We're going to click on the three dots. We're going to say run explorer. 
and let's go and find the Diablo 2 folder. I'm gonna full screen this app. Diablo 2 LOD, that's a folder that we created or renamed. And as you can see, it says computer disk D. This D, it defaulted to downloads folder and that's where all the games uh, should be located. I don't think it's gonna read from SD card. Diablo D2 LOD, double click in this. Click, 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 let's wait, here you go. D2 video test, you need to run that. Double click, wait for app to start and click run test. Back in old days when I had my first or second computer, I remember playing thousands of hours of Diablo 2. And this window brings me so much memory, so much nostalgic, just by seeing these black lines showing up with video tests. You can't even imagine. Here we go. We're gonna click OK. Now I want to create a shortcut for Diablo 2. If I'm gonna right click, I expect the, the properties to show, but it doesn't work because right click doesn't work inside Samsung DeX. I need to click and hold and then release to get this one. So I'm gonna say click link. I will close everything and I'll show you what I mean by doing the shortcut. Once you run the app fresh inside the option PC desktop, that's where the game will show up. So I'm gonna just click on this, let the exit do its things. And what's happening now is opening, starting the Windows emulator, finding the game, starting the .exe file, getting all the setting, settings, like resolution, etc., and starting the game for me. What <laughs> this screen, I can't believe I'm seeing Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction running on my Samsung DeX. This is unbelievable. If somebody told me years ago that this will happen, I would I would not believe it. I mean, this is crazy. So I'm gonna go in the single player. There is a auto automatically uh, someone's, um, someone, someone, someone's username created. I'm gonna say delete, click yes. Create a new character. I'm gonna play with my most favorite character, with Necromancer. I'm gonna say Mr. P is the name. I'm gonna click OK. So game starts, as you can see, this is a bit off center because the resolution has not been selected yet. I'm gonna click options. First thing I wanna go and change the music with nothing, no music, and change that to 800 by 600. Press preview, press pre previous me menu, return to the game. So we go, games runs almost native resolution. As you can see, there is a blue gray bar going across. This is where the shortcuts. So if I'm gonna click on this, I'm gonna go full screen, as you can see, like this. This is gonna bring up the keyboard. This is gonna give me what each interaction with the touchscreen works, and this is shut the game. But this, that I don't like this showing up that by, I might by accident click it. So that's why I'm using a Pepper Jobs Extend Touch Portable Monitor because it's a touchscreen. If I'm gonna three fingers tap on the screen, the gray bar disappears. You can't do that if, for example, if I'm gonna use my Ultra Monitor. So now let's press R, let's do running. How's my inventory? All good. Let's go and click kill a monster and I'll show you the problem on a Samsung Dex trying to play this game. Right, where are you? Monsters. Who oppose me beware. So many memories <laughs> hearing this. So right click, right click. I should post to cast the spell to raise the skeleton, but I can't because right click doesn't work. How to do, how to, into, uh, how to activate the skill? I need to click, hold and release. Right click, holding, 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 release. And now it's working, but how long? Hold it for a second, hold it for two seconds, hold it for a second and a half, you don't know. So this is basically, that's the game, that's the problem. You you click, hold and release. And it's not a big deal, but when it's in a, in a massive heat of the battle, you might basically get killed, get owned, just because you can't cast a spell or can't raise a skeleton or something. something. And if I'm gonna click on here, I don't think I can have option to assign the skeleton skill there. But this game runs perfectly on my Samsung tablet. And that's what I'm gonna demonstrate now. I'm gonna disconnect everything. We'll connect my Galaxy tablet and I'll meet you then. So here we go, I have my Galaxy Tab S6 ready. And right, first thing, let's go and run Exegenio app. So it's running and I'm gonna just tap on a Diablo 2. And let's wait for game to start. So app automatically opens into Windows emulator, finds the game, finds the app, uh, the exe file starts the game for me. So game starts, I'm just gonna tap on the screen to skip the intro. Tap, single player, Mr. P. And game's running. So right now, as you can see, game is in such a aspect ratio, I'm gonna do a full screen, press a full screen, and three fingers tap on the screen to remove that gray bar. Right now, this game looks on my tablet, is like it's meant to be played on the tablet. So, oh, greeting stranger, okay. Now let's go and do a bit of killing. And on while playing this game on my Galaxy tablet, the right button, right mouse button works. And if I own, if I would have the Galaxy, Galaxy Tab S7 that with the larger screen, this game probably even look even better. 
but no complaining with the S6 tablet. Here you go. As you can see, I'm just casting the skills, casting the spells. Let's go grab this. Come on. Oh, throwing. Let's go. Come on, Skelly, where are you? Come on, attack. Mana potion, let's grab. And this, is, this game runs, as I remember, on my old Pentium computer when I used to spend hours and hours playing this game and trying to beat as fast as possible and beat my brother's time because we used to compete on like a speed runs kind of thing. Who's gonna complete act one without dying? Who's gonna complete act one without getting hit and etc, etc, etc. We used to spend so many hours playing this game. So this video, uh, I hope it helps you to play this game on your Samsung Deck setup. Well, technically not a Samsung Deck setup, but if you don't mind right button problem on the Samsung Dex playing this game, then this works perfectly on Samsung Dex. But if you have a Galaxy tablet, this works amazingly. Another way to play this game would be if you will connect your phone to the portable monitor, but instead of starting the Samsung Dex, you start the screen mirroring. Obviously, you will, you will still see a smaller screen constantly active showing how the game runs, but the screen will be mirrored to a bigger display where you'll be able to see better exactly what is going on? I just leveled up, so I need to have two two skeletons now. Sorry, I'm just... I can't believe it's running this game on my Tab S6. I'm, I'm probably gonna just spend so many hours right now trying to play this. Anyway, come back to a video, right? Yeah, like I said, you can use your Galaxy phone, but then it's gonna be screen mirroring if you want to have a right button click. But if a right mouse button click doesn't really bother you, obviously you can get this win with this game set up on your Samsung Dex. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and click like, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.